are cat lovers, there are dog lovers. There are cat haters, there are dog haters. Either way, they are the most popular pets in America. The question is, which is a better pet, cats or dogs? I won't attempt to hunt down the definitive answer, but instead to illuminate some of the pros and cons of each species. We will start with cats. Cats know how to care for themselves, and all they really need from us is water, food, and affection. Cats are useful in keeping rats and mice away from homes and barns. Cats can climb trees and defend themselves against animals much larger than they are. Cats have the potential to be heroes. The house was on fire. Pearl's nine-year-old grandson, Kendron Hall, was upstairs, and nobody knew it. If the cat hadn't woke him up, we wouldn't have found out until too late that he was even in the house. I was woken up by the cat. He just would not leave me alone until I got up. I came out into the living room, and I found my boyfriend unconscious on the living room floor, and at that time, I called 911. I spoke to various pet owners to see if I could discern the reasons that people choose one species over the other. This is Daisy. Yeah. Says, who are you? My name is Pummy Mills, and currently I own four cats. I've had as many as seven cats at one time. I think cats are the more ideal pet for people that don't have yards or live in a, a real city environment. Here in the U.S., slightly more households own dogs than cats, but in terms of population, cats outnumber dogs by 4 million. Worldwide figures show that in the top 10 cat-owning countries, there are almost 204 million felines. In the top 10 dog-owning countries, that number is fewer than 173 million. A lot of it simply has to do with population density. Many cities just aren't that dog-friendly. You know, there's, there are advantages to having a cat. You're to take care of, you know, you don't have to be home to let them out. You don't have to be there all the time. They're, they're a little more self-sufficient than dogs are. Cats are clean, both in taking care of themselves and in the house. Cats are grazers, so you just kind of can let food be down and they just sort of wander through and eat as they are hungry. Cats like meat especially liver and fish and canned cat food. And of course, they often catch mice and gophers. Where with dogs, they get fed once a day. If you left food down, they'd eat all day long. Dogs <laughs> do things like run off and you have to go find them. And cats, they can spend the whole day by themselves and they're happy. Dogs need more interaction. If they're left alone all day, they're, they're just not gonna be real happy. A cat is, the ideal pet for me. Maybe a dog is more, you know, in tune with, with kids and playing and things where cats might just go hide or they don't want to, they, they don't want to chase a ball. Cats don't bark like dogs, so, you know, you're not going to have a neighbor yelling at your barking dog. Cats are easier. They're just easier pets. They're more independent. Like, you feed them, you do the litter box, they just hang out. Whereas like dogs, like they need attention, they need to go on walks. Litter boxes, I've considered getting rid of my cat because of the litter box. Cats demand so little. Water, good food, a clean, dry place to sleep, exercise, and care. I am primarily a cat person, but I I have one exception to that, and that's my great dame, Sadie. She is the best dog. The only best dog. Everyone who has and loves a dog thinks that his dog is the best. There are all kinds of dogs, more than 100 different kinds and breeds. Thank you.
centuries of breeding and selection have produced each of these varieties of dogs for special purposes. Some people's opinions are, has an animal got a place in a modern police force? Well, people will generally argue with police officers. They won't argue with the dogs. Dogs are very much the cavalry of the police force. If the shit's hitting the fan, there's nothing better than some dogs turning up. Boy! They're going to continue to fight. They're going to continue what I would tell them to do. They're devoted. They'll give their life for you. Dogs also have the potential to be heroes. In this dangerous work, the use of a police dog may someday save an officer's life. And I, and I do feel that he saved my life that day. They're about to test a new harness in the skies over North Carolina. They've been to war together, nearly died together, and they never like to be too far apart. Uh, he just wants to do whatever I'm doing. He doesn't care what it is. You've said that these dogs feel like they're invincible. Absolutely. What makes you say that? We don't train them to fail. I saw my dog, you know, try to smash through doors, uh, climb up cliffs, drag people down cliffs, uh, just track people, find odors that were hi hidden up in the ceiling, um, just you name it. it. It seemed like every day I was being amazed by these dogs. Yes, these police and military dogs truly are amazing, but most of us are more interested in the less intense, more docile breeds. Cats are cool. I mean, I don't hate cats. But dogs are definitely way better. Take them hiking. Protect you. I strap him on my snowboard and snowboard down while he follows me down. And uh, I don't think a cat can do that. I got him when I was like 18, 19. Just moved out, parents' house, and it was just good responsibility right out, this, right off the start. And he just kind of helped me be a little more mature and responsible. And then I don't know, bad things happened in my life. He was always there for me, so he's just kind of I don't know. I've had him for a long time now. He's just kind of like my little best friend. It's often said the dog is man's best friend. We have a long relationship with a wolf and a dog. It's an unbeatable combination. There's humans and dogs together. Nothing can stop them. I saved his life once in Alaska when he, no. fell, th when he fell through a open lead on a river. Ran up to this hole and fell through. And I had to run over there and pull him out before he drowned. Pretty crazy experience, and it made us bond a lot. After that, he he kind of changed as a dog. He really listened to me more, and we, I don't know, we got kind of closer. The cats are totally easier, but they're not the same. You don't build a bond with a cat like you do with a dog. I mean, you can't go on experiences. Take care of dogs a lot harder because you got to build that. You got to do all those things to have a good dog. So it's definitely more difficult with a dog. But in the end, that that relationship, you end up, you know. I mean, it's just, it's just different. How dear the puppies are, and they ask so little. A warm bed, plenty of food, a place to play, and someone to love. A pair of eyes for those living in perpetual darkness. Together now, man and dog, they go out into the world and on their own. In terms of care requirements, cats clearly have the advantage. They tend to keep themselves, are tidy, quiet, and self-sustaining. But as far as utility, dogs seem to have the advantage. Dogs can hunt, herd, and guard. They can sniff out drugs and bombs. They guide blind people, race for sport, pull sleds, and find missing persons. However, care requirements and utility aren't everything we look for in a pet. We love our pets for many reasons. Both species are beautiful and soft, and stroking them has been shown to reduce stress. National Geographic says that cats look at us as equals. They treat us the same as they would a giant cat that they liked. Dogs, on the other hand, completely change their behavior when a person is around. They play differently and they respond differently than they would with other animals. In the end, the decision between dogs and cats lies with you, the pet owner. So get out there and get a pet today. What are you waiting for? Special thanks to Connie Mills, Melissa Orth, Jamie Miller, and the Prelinger Film Archives, and all the animals willing to participate in this short. Thanks for watching.